What's going on guys? Um, I'm going to post a quick video for some people that may need this help. Um, got a 2002 Mercedes SLK class. I believe it's a 230. Uh, essentially, the customer has a radio that looks like it's playing. Uh, let me see here. Hold on. So... So it looks like it's playing, but we get no sound. Uh, apparently it's a pretty common issue with these. Um, you know, some people check the fuses under the hood. Uh, apparently there's a couple fuses under the hood in the passenger side up front there. Uh, in my case, that wasn't the problem. Um, customer has the Bose amplifier, which is under the floor over there. Uh, so I pulled that down. It's just held in by three bolts, one at top, two at the bottom. The whole metal plate comes down, Bose amps on the far side over there. Uh, my Bose amp was getting all the power it needed. Uh, it was, all the speakers were reading good. Uh, the issue ended up being the remote turn on up here at the radio. Um, it's not getting power from the radio. So the customer said he was driving, sound just cut out, uh, and then it hasn't worked since. So the remote turn on uh, is no longer getting voltage. Um, so what I did is I wired up a relay, which I'm going to go over here with you, but I'm going to show you once I make this connection. Uh, I should get some sound here. Set the camera down here so we can see it. <clears throat> so I don't like to personally use butt connectors and whatnot. Uh, I at least do military splicing. I don't have any solder with me at the moment, uh, but at least do some military splicing. As you can hear, the sound kicked on as soon as I shot voltage to this wire. Um, I'm going to go over the relay configuration. Maybe that'll help somebody out that might be having the same problem. Just bear with me one second. Let me tape this connection up. like to at least double tape my connections as well um, that way if there's no loose stragglies that are poking through end up short out or anything like that so if I'm not doing any heat shrink or anything like that I at least double tape just make sure you don't have no issues but the way I got it wired up that way you can help somebody else you just get your standard five pin relay uh, single pool double throw SP DT relay whatever you guys want to call it um, and basically I use pins 85, 86, 30, and 87. I do not need the center one which I pulled out, 87A you do not need. Um, so the way I got it wired, I have 85 going to brown wire which is your ground. I have 86 to activate the relay going to my accessory wire to the radio. I then have 30, my common, going to a constant 12 volt to the radio. And then I have my 87 going to the amp turn on wire, which should be blue white. Um, now, of course, every vehicle is different every year, make a model, whatnot, to so check your wiring color. Uh, but I hope this helps somebody out. Thanks, guys.